GSL code S. You know, it's funny, these games have gone so fast, I, for a second I thought we were in our second best of three. <laughs> uh, in the bottom right, SK Telecom T1 Classic, Kim Do. There he is. Take it all in, nerds. Got that hair hanging off that mic from our headset. <laughs> uh, in the bottom left, he is. SK Telecom T1 Su, Oyun Su. My power! I do. It's a very powerful feeling. He looks so focused. <clears throat> well, he better be. If he loses here, he goes up against either Parting or Hero. And even though he's smashed Hero before, uh, that doesn't mean it'll happen again. Hero's definitely of a caliber that he could beat Sue in a best of three. Yeah, he certainly could. But we definitely won't be having cannon rushes on this map. No, definitely not. That would be what a risk that would be. But the thing is, so many people go double hatch before pool. Maybe you could pull it off. Oh, you know what? Actually, I guess if you think meta enough like that. Yeah, it's just like it's such a coin flip. Why do it? Not even a coin flip. It's like it's a coin flip is when it's fifty-fifty. That wouldn't. That would not be a fifty-fifty build. How many sides are there on a Dungeons and Dragons die? Is it twenty? Well, the that's uh or wow. You really don't know anything about Dungeons and Dragons. They use many different sizes, many different. No, yeah, yeah, the truth is, I actually dice. I know nothing about Dungeons and Dragons. So the no. D twenty is definitely one of them. The D20? But they use like there's all sorts of different dice, like D eights, D twelves, and stuff. Thanks, Artosis. Now I know. Yeah, you're welcome. You're the best. Anytime. Um, <clears throat> got the little uh, Forge Gateway Wallet. Um, Artos, we've got a little bit of downtime here, guys. We've got to wait for the cybernetics tour to finish. And unless we see Zerk do something. Like, I love really how late that pool is, by the way. I just want to throw yeah. that out there. Uh, did you finish that RPG you've been playing? Dude, I keep playing it. How, I'm, uh, how many hours 48 hours in or so. What name is it, uh, is it again? Shin Megami Tensai 4. Shin Megami Tensai 4. I recommend it highly to anyone with a DS. Amazing. I'm still game. stuck in Dark Souls, man. I'll come I'm, over and beat the level I'm for putting, you soon. I'm putting... I would... I would I would pay to watch you stream Dark Souls. Like that would be the greatest thing I would ever see. You think I'd rage or something? Oh no, you'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play it eventually. You keep telling me. You so have I to play. I, I, you, I actually need you to play this so like you can come back and talk to me about it and be like, "Wow!" I'll, pl I'll play it when you play Pokemon. <clears throat> um. All right. Deal. All right. So I guess I'll never play it. No, I'll play Pokemon. Sure, you will. I I, I will, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna lie to you and be Empty. like, "I played." Empty promise. I'm going to play Pokemon eventually. Okay, we'll see. I think I might just get the new one, though. Yeah, it's fine. I have a DS in my house. I think I might just be like, all right, I'll just get the yeah, most recent good. Pokemon. Yeah. But you have to get on Dark Souls. Like, I, You need to play this because we need to talk about like the ridiculousness of this. And by the way, guys, I'm not talking about Dark Souls 2. I'm stuck on Dark Souls 1. I started playing Dark Souls 1 right when Dark Souls 2 What's came out. What's the name of the other one that's just like that? Demon Souls? Yeah. Well, Demon Souls is the original, but Sony, I believe, owns the, the name rights. Okay. To, uh, so because yeah, it got Dark big. Souls, I I own Dark Souls, like because you were talking about it, and then Tara got it for me, but I haven't played it. It's it's <laughs> that's the way it it's is. It's an experience, man. It's an experience. Mm. I'm still stuck, guys. By the way, I need someone to help me on Twitter. I'm still stuck on Executioner and Dragon Slayer, the double boss fight. I'm trying to throw dung piles at him to poison him, um, and then I kill I kill a smog. The so you're telling me you, this is what I just heard out of your mouth? I you're throw like, dung piles. Hello, at my name is Tasis. I'm a poop thrower, and I can't beat the level. I'm a poop well, maybe because you're a poop thrower. Maybe you should fight like a man with a sword. No, I'm going to throw a poop at him. Trust me. I don't oh, want to fight man. these guys like a man. I, I'm sorry. Weakling. I'm, I'm, I am a straight up. I'm, I am cheesier in Dark Souls than that like, cannon rush in <laughs> the first game, man. All right. Well, we do have a Stargate opener here. It's going to be an Oracle. Yep. Uh, uh, Link speed almost done here, too. Link's yeah, he, on the way. He already has spores on the way as well. So, uh, again, this it looks like the Oracle probably not going to do all that much. And with this many speedlings popping out, if the Oracle's across the map and he tries to make his third, 100% it gets canceled. All right. So he's going to make his third, and the Oracle, I'm sure, will fly across the map, and then he'll have to cancel. Watch this. Get ready. Get ready for Artosis, the Miss Cleo, Miss Cleo of eSports. He's going to be like, hello, my little friend. Oh, uh, he keeps it here. Very good. 
So this means he may not have to cancel. Less of a Miss Cleo, Cleo, more of a meteorologist. Like if this low pressure zone comes in here, or this high pressure Zergling force. God, the Oracle kills. Yeah. So fast. How many wings did that get? That was 12 kills. It's pretty crazy, right? God, man. More lings on the way. You know, the Oracle moved yeah, out. Yeah, what's funny about that, you think how much the lings cost? That's almost like cost effective to just have the Nexus out there and cancel it. <laughs> For how many yeah. kills you're actually Kinda, getting. Yeah. I mean, you are getting the expansion up later. The so fact that, that he made you. that many as well, it's it's not all that bad. Yeah. What I would actually really like to see off of him, though, is a second Oracle. And it looks like he went, I believe, a Void Ray afterwards and teching up as well, which is fine. But I really wouldn't have minded a second Oracle just with how many Lings and more Lings coming over. That way he could force his third up a little bit quicker. And the thing is, you can make a few extra Lings when you're on three base of a strong economy against someone who just isn't getting a third up. The fact that they're yeah. delaying so much is really nice. Oh, this is cute. That is cute. Not cute enough, though, no. just like you say. Apparently not. Well, we do have uh, quite a few gateways finishing, as well as a uh, Colossus on the way here for Classic. Sir, is sir, he going to do a weird two-base all-in? Well, he might have to. I mean, you really can't go for this long without having the Nexus. I mean, Sue's really showing us his, his deeper understanding of the matchup. He's like, well... With a Stargate build like this, you have to have three bases. You can't just like make Void Rays off just this you know, one base. Yeah. So he's interrupted that. And the amount of times he's shut this down, I think uh, Classic's basically been forced into um, uh, doing the timing like this. Mm. Well, we'll see if he does head up for a, a timing like that. thing is, we have those melee upgrades coming in for Sue. Uh, he's being a little bit careful here, getting a Hydralisk Den. Just in case, because, uh, you know, if, if you're delaying my third this long, I might think about going Sky Jones uh -oh. right away. Uh-oh. Get the Nexus. Nope. He's going to get pushed back here. All right, no biggie. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, he's he's even getting his Infestation Pit. So we'll see if he techs right up to Hive this time, like we saw before in this map. Stargate's on the way now. Fourth base coming up for Sue. <coughs> Really waiting to see the direction in which uh, Classic's going to try to take this. We did have those two Stargates making. I, I do believe he's going to go straight into Ultras here, Jesus. Yeah, well, it, it definitely worked last time, and Protoss definitely... I mean, think of how many games we actually have where the Protoss doesn't get the third up right away. It's actually pretty uncommon. Yeah, this is uh, this is a pretty late third. Not finishing until after 11 minutes. So, you know, the thing is, it's not over yet or anything. It was, just, it was good moves from Sue. And uh, you have to look at him and say, okay, he's, it feels like he's definitely got control here with his fourth going to be finishing very shortly. It's going to be up at Hive Tech. He's got some map control. The thing is, his creep spread is not the best. And, you know, he is teching, like, really quickly here. So there might be a little moment where Class can get in and do some damage. I don't think so, though. Like, I keep looking for it, and I just, I don't see it. Like, his army isn't good enough right now to move out, and the walk is so long, I feel like there can just be ultras out by the time he gets over there. Okay, nice control here <coughs> with that oracle. Yeah. Just uh, steadily backs out. Uh, the void rays are going to get cranked out here. I believe He's making a fleet beacon? No, 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 no. excuse me. Templar Archives? Uh, Templar Archives. Just oh. kidding. A pylon? <laughs> 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 That's an immortal taste. That doesn't look anything like the Fleet Beacon. <laughs> um, well, it looks like he's just going to go ahead and power up for the time being on his third base. Protoss really can't get out and do much more. Mm. Well, really healthy drone count. Sue taking his fifth base as well. Uh, we'll see if he actually sends the, the uh, Void Rays up to the fifth because... That's like kind of an obvious thing here. It's really hard for the Zerg to cover all these bases, especially going for a strat like this. And Hero identified that immediately and moved up and killed the fifth off before it even finished. Now we do have a move out here. Now this is the move out that we saw go towards the fifth, but it looks like he wants to go towards the back natural that he already knows has a bunch of spores. So like kind of a tricky little move as he does send these Zealots out. We'll see if it works out for him. There's the Fleet Beacon. I saw that in the future. That's what was confusing. I, you have that problem sometimes. I sometimes say things that happen in the future. <clears throat> yeah, as if they happened in the past. Yeah. I was actually sitting back here to save Sarah Connor, but I ended up just, you know, getting in front of a computer and playing games instead. I was 
a retro guy. It's a better. It's, it's a better, a better, way. better way. It's probably better if Skynet like, takes over. Yeah, it, really, I don't think humans deserve to inherit the Earth much longer. Um, so, <laughs> wait. Uh, I have the Void Rays coming down now. Yeah, these are actually doing a really good job right now, taking out these spores so quickly. Uh, that overcharge really working out for him. Now the Zot's moving up towards this fifth base. If he can kill this fifth base and the back natural, that's gigantic. Oh, uh, nice control. He gets that. Oh, look at you, classic. Yeah, this is this is such a powerful uh, attack on both Muhammad sides. Muhammad Ali of esports right here. Are those all the lings going into the natural, the back natural? Huh? No, no. Oh, oh no, no, those are the queens. queens. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, so. Oh, peace. Yeah, it's a good fungal force that warp out, but losing two bases. He's on three base against three base right now, and his opponent is getting quite a few tempests. I really think he should have moved those zealots there a while ago. Beaten up with larva. <laughs> yeah, he's got to kill that larva. What if that became the drone that made the hatchery that got the rest of the economy that the Zerg needed to win the game? I really thought he was actually just going to send up the zealots down there as soon as he got the hatch and try to get the other hatch. <laughs> I think that would be a little bit greedy. I don't know, man. If he could get that hatch Can you as even well, get those zealots like, back home soon? now? I mean, that's the question, though. Well, I think you wait for Zerg to move across the map. Or oh, yeah, like, you know what you could do? You could hide him. You could be the Zerg this time. You could, like, hide those zealots up there, like, in a main or something. You could be the Zerg. You could be the Zerg. Oh, hello. Here's a zealot over here. Zealot's a badass. This single zealot harassment. Wow, this wow. zealot's teaming up on that old yeah, choice. Man. My so friends were here. I, th I think he actually just might end up dissecting Sue here. Yeah, Sue I playing a very sloppy game, I do have to say. Yeah, he might still be salty like from that cannon rush. Well, he's uh, going to lose this hatchery once again. Kind of rough. Taking more damage from the single zealot harassment in the main base than he really should have as well. But Sue looks like he just wants to do this attack that he did against Hero. Oh, boy. Lots of damage going down, Tasteless. Yeah, um... I think if this attack's going to happen, and I believe I, that Protoss just holds it, right? I mean, you just go up the ramp, and you're like, LOL, look at this. He definitely won't die all the way. Uh, and in I fact, think, I don't I think, think he's going to die at all. I think Sue's I think Sue's going to die, man. This is actually everything's... Yeah. Oh, yeah, Sue's going to oh, die. okay, I was like... Well, I mean, like, this can kill the natural. Yeah, that's fine. Protoss, like, keep the natural, man. Yeah. Well, he's killing everyone. Wow, else. wait until all, all these overlords die. <laughs> Pretty soon he's going to be supply blocked. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is painful. Well. Wow. Oh, the humanity. Not the prettiest game that we've seen. Oh, my God. He is down to 46 uh, in the red supply here. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Um, all right. Well, I mean, um, this is—we're just watching the death of a man. Yeah, we're watching. <laughs> He's got to eventually here. kill this army, and that's all there is to it. And considering he's on top of a ramp right now, it's looking uh, pretty promising. Doesn't have yeah. too many immortals. Going to be able to take out these few ultras pretty easily, and then it's just basically queens left over. Three broodlords don't count for much. Um. Well, they're going back. Uh, he's trying to break the ramp, but when you're breaking the ramp with three Broodlords and a bunch of Queens, it's not really the scariest thing you ever saw as a Protoss. Well, Zerg's trying to get up here, but, I mean, he's right with the warp gate. Uh, the way the gateways are structured, by the way, big funnel here. Um, okay, guys, this is really over. I can't, like, <laughs> I can't really say much more than this. See that? That's not a good sign there. Uh, <laughs> no, certainly not. Still trying Queens to break are coming in. up here, man, but yeah. it's just, it, they're just, it should not work in any way. Um, yeah, because eventually it's just going to be, you know, those border can always come home. Yep. Uh, there's very few buildings even left over for Sue here. He's going to get right underneath these Broodlords here. Yeah. Wow, right, that's so a lot of transfuses. Look at that. Uh, looks like Classic is going to be the first one coming out of this group, Tasteless. Nicely done, Classic. i got to say, Sue was looking really strong, really scary. Great cannon rush in game one and solid multitasking harass there in game number two. Classic is your winner here. The first to come out of this group here in the GSL Code S. Sue will go on to our final best of three, where he'll face off um, against Hero Pardo. Against Hearing Our Party. Yeah. Hearing Our Pardo? Hearing, hear, hearing Our Pardo, yeah. 
Well, uh, hey, remember when I can't arrest you four times that game? Yeah, well, I'm out of here. <laughs> See you, buddy. So that means that Classic actually just advanced the round of eight. And that means he'll be seated in the CODES next season as well. So a very strong uh, finish so far from him. Nicely done there, Classic. We'll have to see how he does this season. Can he get past that round of eight? Uh, definitely a possibility. He's a really strong player overall. Yeah. Yeah, he's very Looks good. Looks very good in Pro League today. Funny games, weird games. Uh, but overall, he's a very strong player. Well, uh, congratulations to Classic. We're not done yet, though. After the short break, we're going to go on to our losers match, which will be 